Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis, and today's episode is brought to you by Vikings War of Clans. I challenge you to play this game for five minutes to see why everyone is addicted and then search for me, Wonder Ollie, all the other names were taken, so we can play together and unite our clans to crush all before I'm saying it's pretty darn addictive. And if you download the game from the links in the video description below, you'll get 200 gold coins to start kicking ass immediately. So support Wrestle Talk and join one of the massive online battles between clans and even countries with over 3 million players worldwide. Because Vikings War of Clans stands on an absolutely different level. Because it's an app. Just download the game. John Cena and Baron Corbin's WWE rivalry has burst out of SmackDown and onto Twitter, with John's fiance Nikki and the Lone Wolf engaging in their own War of Clans. I can't wait to sit front row and see him slap that mouth right off of your face. No one gives and inspires as much as that man does. Front row? I'll be sure to slap him into the barricade in front of you. Bring a towel, you can throw it in when he can't take any more. John's big retort against SmackDown's Mr. Money in the Bank? A photoshopped image of Corbin in a dumpster fire, playing off the chant from last Tuesday's show. Or actually, a rather cane-like threat of arson. But going by the Barclays Center Twitter account, John won't have to deal with the lone wolf much longer. Cena went on a brief hiatus following WrestleMania 32 to work on outside projects, mainly the second season of his reality show American Grit and shooting new comedy film The Pact. Building up to Cena's WWE return though, promos advertised him as a free agent, suggesting he'll be able to appear on both brands. Cena has been wrestling on Raw live events since July, and he's currently being advertised for the Raw exclusive pay-per-view No Mercy in September. But thanks to a venue's Twitter page, his first TV appearance on Monday Night Raw could have been leaked. We're 10 days away from WWE Monday Night Raw. Don't miss free agent John Cena live here in Brooklyn on 21st of August. The 21st of August Raw is next Monday, the night after SummerSlam. Slam, the clearest indication yet that Cena is switching brands on TV. The other possibility is that Cena will be appearing on the 21st show for the live crowd only in a dark match main event. Just two days before, in the same building, NXT will host TakeOver Brooklyn 3, which will see Bobby Roode defend against Drew McIntyre, Asuka vs Ember Moon, and the Authors of Pain taking on Sanity. Unlike the previous NXT TakeOver, in Chicago, however, in what many consider the best WWE match of the year so far, the UK Championship will not be defended on this show. Instead, Pete Dunne was meant to defend his UK title against cruiserweight wrestler Jack Gallagher at a progress show over the weekend. The latest example of WWE working closely with independent UK promotions. Sadly, as first broken by PW Insider, Dunne was injured earlier that week, requiring 11 stitches to his temple and couldn't get medically cleared in time. Gallagher instead fought Zach Gibson. Want to hear about the time Mickey Rourke thought he was having a legit wrestling match with Chris Jericho? And remember when John Cena was stabbed on SmackDown? Click the videos to the left to find out more. Press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.